what is going on? It is Obadiah, and today we are back playing some Ark Survival Evolved on the Ragnarok server for the official release series. And uh, if you guys do enjoy these videos, if you learned something, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up. And then, of course, feel free to subscribe and share and ring that notification bell if you haven't already. There's also a link to the Streamlabs tip jar in the description below, and I'm on Twitch and YouTube, both, wherever you're seeing this. But today, guys, uh, we just got some trank darts crafted up for the first time. We got ourselves an upgraded rifle, so I think it's time to do some taming. We might do some building as well. We need to start gathering metal or placing things in here with metal. Uh, I think I also want to build out a ways here and make a ramp going down, so I don't have to keep going around every time I jump down the lower section. I want to make an, uh, the egg and poop collector and the incubator, and I want to route some electricity and do all sorts of that kind of stuff. I may do some on camera, some off camera, I don't know. But I also want to get us maybe a Quetzal and go get like an Inky and a Doed, your normal kind of guys like that. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and get stuff ready, grab my trank arrows, grab my trick darts and the narcotics and the muttons and all the stuff and go see what we can find. All right, guys, we have found ourselves a Quetzal, like an all gray looking one, level 135. Was it a female as well? Sure is, that's what we like to see. So, let's go ahead and just do it. Okay, it's a good miss, good miss, good miss. There it is. <laughs> I love being able to fly with this freaking guy. Oh man, this is definitely the new the new fancy way to freaking get Quetzals. <laughs> okay, let's see how we're doing. I really don't want it to fall in the water. Oh, it's like half already. Oh no, like a, or like a third. How's our stamina doing? Not so hot. Oh geez, we are doing a lot of damage to it though, which might be kind of a problem. Come on. Go down, sucker! And I'm also kind of worried about hitting my own bird. Okay, why'd that one shot do like, whoa! Okay, well, we gotta get our bearings here. Why'd that one shot do like 500? That was nuts. I guess it could have been a headshot or something. I didn't realize it. Yeah, go over land, go over land. That's what we'd like to see. Come on. Go to sleep, go to sleep. This is a great spot. And it's asleep. The bad news is I'm pretty sure we forgot the mutton at home. But that's okay. Land, land, but don't do any damage while you land. Uh, I'm gonna go out and go find some mutton, or maybe I'll just kill this pair of prime meat. It sounds just as good. And uh, get this, this, get this sucker done, and then I'll bring y'all back. Well, guys, we got a problem. Some stupid freaking terror bird came up and started eating my quetzal. And now, it is uh, only 28% effectiveness. So we're gonna let this sucker wake up because we're we're not gonna tame very many quetzals because they're so slow now. We just need one good one. So I'm just literally just gonna wait for this guy to wake up. Uh, maybe we'll feed it some stim berries or something. No, let's not because it'll still keep its low hunger, I believe, if we don't. And we're gonna re-knock it out. And do this crap again. All right, guys, the Quetzal is gonna wake up in just a moment. Then we're gonna have to rechase it, re knock it out, do the, do the whole deal. Okay, can't really see from here. Come on, Mr. Quetzal. In a second now. There we go. Of course, the first one counts as a miss. All right, let's let the sucker fly away. I'll come after him. Reload, and hopefully no, nothing bad happens again. Yes, yes, yes. Run away, run away. Oh yeah, I guess get stuck somewhere. That would be delightful. I did actually heal him up some. Ah, oh, crap. Okay, well, let's put this away here. Let's fly up. We don't want to lose this guy. Okay, there he is. Um, I actually did... Feed, force feed him some meat because I realized his health was low and I didn't want to accidentally kill him. Come on. Come on, stupid. Dang it, so hard to see. There we go. Nice open is maybe even better than stuck. What? Register. What? There we go. 
Are you gonna go stuck in the trees and stuff? I mean, that's fine if I can see you and if you actually just stay there, but if you're gonna keep running around and stuff, I'd rather just have you fly around in the regular air. There you go. There we go. Yeah, alright. Right there. That's your new... That's your spot. If that's your spot, stay there. Uh. Alright. Perfect. Stay right there. Really? Okay, screw you. It's flying away. We gotta go chase it. Ah, I just don't want it to get attacked again. And I don't want to build some stupid Quetzal box while I tame it. So I'm way too lazy for that nowadays. Go to sleep, little Quetzal. Don't land anywhere dangerous. Yes, up here on a hill would be perfect, where I can view everything around. No, 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 go back on the hill. Go back up, 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 up. His army is already getting bloody. I don't like that. Yes, right there, right there. Don't go too high, don't go too high, don't go too high. What? How did that miss? Don't you dare go in the snow or whatever's up here. Snow is bad news. Oh crap, did we hit it after it freaking went down? Oh, I bet you we did. That's alright. If we just lose a little bit of taming, we'll just live with that. Let's grab the mutton and the prime. Oh, poor Quetzal. You have a rough life. Let's take a look. Oh, we did lose like 10 levels. That's alright. We're just gonna live with it. Come on, are you hungry enough to just tame up right away? Because that would be fantastic. No, you're not. All right, now we gotta sit and babysit this sucker, and then we'll have ourselves a nice, not perfect tamed, decent Quetzal. All right, guys, our Quetzal is up and done, and we seem to be stuck on it, which is great. Move. There we go. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and get this guy back to base, and I'll bring y'all back. All right, guys, so we have went ahead and got the Quetzal back to base. We got them all saddled up, and we are going to start working on building stuff when I actually already started off camera. You can check it out. I forgot to record it, but you know what? Whatever. It's cool. It's just building a little platform, and then we also built a ramp going straight down. Um, I considered making leaving the base entirely hidden. However, it seemed like that uh, is not really going to give us a lot of availability and room and whatnot. So I built this kind of weird ramp going down. We're going to enclose the area down here, and I'm going to completely platform it off, which is going to take a lot, a lot, a lot of materials, as you can see. Uh, we already started here, but it's going to take, I mean, a couple hundred foundations at least. And so I figure what it's about time to do is start getting some gathering dinos to take care of those base materials. So we need to go ahead and find ourselves a good level doehead and a good level Enki. I may build like a little makeshift taming pen that I can go grab them with the Quetzal, which is the best thing to have a Quetzal for. Uh, let's kind of make a little makeshift one and drop them right here. What is above me? Um, and go ahead and find those guys and drop them in here. And we'll go ahead and knock them out, get them tamed up so we can go ahead and continue building. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and take care of that. Go find some awesome guys. And then I'm gonna bring y'all back. All right, guys. Well, it took us all of about 30 seconds to find ourselves dough. It's not the perfect level. It was literally right outside the base, pretty much. Just right around the corner in this little tunnel right here. I believe it is a level, let's see, 135, I think it said. I hope. Yep, 135, and that's just fine. We're not looking to breed. We're just looking for uh, some good dinos, good working dinos. Let's go ahead and drop this sucker right here. I made a little pen completely out of door frames. And, uh, oh, there he is. I was like, where'd he go? Get in there. Did it work? Okay, perfect. Let's go ahead and see if we can knock this guy out right quick. Okay. Now he's a little injured already, so I'm hoping I'm not gonna do too much damage. So we're gonna do things a little bit slowly. Give a few seconds in between each shot to let the torpor really take effect. Because since he was so easy to find, I really don't wanna go find another one. Because who knows how hard the next one's gonna be. Uh, luckily the torpor does go down pretty slow. Which is definitely helpful. Go to sleep. Okay, let's take a look. Where are we at? Okay, he's good. He's almost, he's almost done. He's almost done. Um, now what I'll do, since these are structures plus door frames, I can actually 
move them, uh, just kind of shift them over to the side to make a second pin once this guy's down. Go to sleep, please. Jeez. Ah, oh, crap. I hate when they do the little ball up thing. Oh, but no, he's back and he's down. Awesome, perfect. Let's go ahead and reload the gun. Um, I'm gonna just go ahead and grab some medjo berries, throw them on there. It probably will be a long tame, because all of these guys tend to be long. What I should have done is tamed up some, uh, what is it, Dillo Kibble? I forget what Doeds are for. It's been so long since I've had to worry about Kibble. We've had Kibble tables in the last couple. Um, I'm just gonna grab some medjo berries, like so. And just go ahead and throw them on this sucker, and then we're gonna move those door frames over to make a second taming pen and go find ourselves an Ankylosaurus. All right, guys, after a ton of searching, I get back and the Doeds is done, which is fantastic. Go ahead and put him on passive, and then the Anki we got is a level 140. It took forever to find. I was about to give up and take just a level 90, who I dropped earlier in, and he's down there somewhere. I just dropped him off the edge. Um, oh, don't fall off the edge yourself, though. Don't do that. No. Oh, God, no. Okay, we're good. Saved it. So, we're going to go ahead and knock this level 140 out, and hopefully... See how much torpor does this sucker have? I'm going to actually check to see how much one of these darts does. It's actually a good little test. Let's do one of these. Did I, did I just miss? Yep. I did. I just missed. Point blank miss. Here we go. And right on the stupid side. Let's take a look. I actually ended up I actually lost my last gun, so I made a new one. 695. Okay. So we'll say 600, say 700. Ah. So that's 1400. Yeah, sit right there. 21. Reload, stupid! Thank you. So then, 28. And 35. And I think one more should do it. Yep, perfect. Alright, so we'll take the rest of the berries off this sucker. I'm sure there's plenty left. Throw them on this Anki. And I may do a quick little lap to see if there's anything else I want to tame right now. Because I don't like just taming one thing. Then we'll go ahead and make some saddles up. And then we're actually going to go ahead and just kind of go around. I'm going to gather a ton of stone. I'm going to take the beaver and gather more wood. I'm going to take the inky and gather metal. Get everything smelting up and good to go. Just get lots and lots of materials so we can do a nice big building project. And then I'll bring y'all back. All right, guys. So I went ahead and made 75 foundations. Behemoth gates. Behemoth doors. Um... I, since this area, I think I could probably just enclose off now. I do have a bunch more stuff that I gathered too. I just put a little box out here with all the stone and whatnot. I still probably don't need to get, need to get wood and everything. I should be able to I should pick these up now. Uh, and also, we should gamma up a tad. Let's, let's just do gamma four. It looks a little washed out, but I think that'll be fine. Pick this stuff up. And then I think we're going to enclose this with behemoth gates. And then start working on the foundations below. I've also been gathering a bunch of metal because eventually I want to replace all this in metal. That's going to be a pretty damn big project. I'm using hundreds and hundreds of foundations. So I think I'm going to close in. I love this little ramp, even though it's kind of a chaotic mess. Uh, I'm going to keep putting foundations down here. I think I'm going to enclose in this entire area as well. Pretty much this entire lake. And then use in here for breeding and smaller dinos, and then out here for the bigger dinos. So I'm going to use the foundations down here. Um, it's going to be a lot... Can you... Rude? Um, <laughs> but uh, it's going to be just a lot of placing, especially because when you're placing foundations, the S-plus foundations kind of stack a tad, uh, which is nice, but doesn't really work the best. So first I'll go ahead and close this, and then start working on down there and then i will bring y'all back all right guys so we have spent quite a while gathering and building and gathering and building and the whole deal and here is the end result so far so far everything was pretty much the same once you come out here you can see we enclosed the entire area um <laughs> the waterfall which is kind of cool for blocking stuff off is pretty much pointless at this point uh, but if someone does break in here they might be a little confused for a moment and that'd be nice we completely enclosed the area we can kind of Griffin and kind of check it out. We walled this off. Come up here to the top. Got ourselves a behemoth gate. Uh, and of course, you can follow the ramp down, which will lead you into what is going to be our main dino pen down here. We'll keep the bigger dinos outside over here because they can protect themselves because they're the big guys. 
and the little guys we'll put in here we're also gonna run either electric or put another generator down here so that we can use this as a breeding area and like an egg collector room and uh, whatnot we'll keep the smaller dinos here and the big ones out here um overall i'm pretty happy with how it came out i do think that it's kind of a bummer we couldn't keep the thing hidden forever um but it's kind of a neat little base i mean it's not maybe not the most pvp defensible um but overall i think it'll do just fine Ooh, yeah let's see what's in this yellow drop hello oh ah what what was that gilly oh that sucks ah, that's the worst timing ever um but it's kind of neat i mean you need a little box nothing super special as far as bases are concerned but anyways i'm a big fan of it um that took a ton a ton a ton of time over a couple days so for today guys i do think that is going to be it uh if you guys did enjoy the video if you learned something do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button and of course feel free to subscribe and share and ring that notification bell if you haven't done so already uh you can also check me out on our social medias and twitch and youtube uh depending on which one that you are watching and i have a link to streamlabs tip jar in the description below but anyways anyways guys i really do appreciate you guys coming to hang out with me until next time i will see you later